So today we have probably got the worst, and I mean worst set of cards we have ever seen in my team. Like, I'm just like in shock at how bad this set is. Like, this is something that we would have never seen in other years because now this is just showing that like lock-ins are the only things that matter. Um, these cards are so terrible. And like, I genuinely was like, look, these cards are bad, but like, it is what it is. But uh, no, these cards are terrible. The one like saving grace is that Iguodala is good. The lock-in. But um, the one thing that I hate as well is that uh, Iguodala is just run our test. It's just run our test. So for everybody that's like, oh, we've gotten uh, I Iggy's good. It's a good set. He is literally run our test. They're the same card. So the only good card today is a copy, basically a copy paste of a card we got like three days ago. But like, why, why are we just getting absolute bombs? Like, and like, I get it. Some of the cards not being great, but like, could we not have just gotten rid of these cards early? Could we not have like fleshed out this set a little bit? We not fleshed it out a little bit, but it is just horrendous. And one thing I'm saying though, is that because of how bad this is, we got to get something big on Friday. So I'm guessing the Tuesday sets are going to be terrible. I'm guessing present meets future next week is going to be terrible as well, which is probably going to be like, I don't know, maybe Booker will be the lock-in. But then on Friday, we're going to get Victor as the lock-in, some crap like that. Um, it'll be interesting to see though. I think the present set will be really, really good. I think the present set we get on Friday is going to be super nice. Like if you're asking me like on a scale of one to last week, because like, we want to look at just how good last week's is. Because, like, we haven't really gotten anything good, any good cards since last week. Iguodala is just a copy. As good as Iguodala is, he is just a copy paste of a card we already have. So, I'm not, I'm just going to say, we haven't really gotten much good since last week. But this was a really, really good set on Friday. So, I think that we're going to have to see a great set on Friday. But it doesn't change the fact that this set is, like... If we're, like, to rate sets out of 10, this is, like not only a zero out of 10, like has there been a worse, even Tuesday promo than this ever? Maybe like one of the prime time sets from NBA 2K22. Maybe a prime time, I guess. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe a prime time set. But that's really, really it. Like, it is by far the worst promo we've seen this year. And the annoying thing about how ass a promo it is, is that, like, the only card that's good is a lock-in. You have to lock in everything to get the card. But on the positive side, the lock-in is cheaper than just buying the card, which I actually don't, never really mind that. When almost like SBC type thing, um, where you get yourself a, like, cheap card. You get yourself, like, a cheap car version of a player um, because you've locked in some sets. So you're basically getting yourself a cheap diamond because you're locked in a set. But, yeah, it's just kind of a very disappointing day. Like, I genuinely thought that it was going to be, like, we were going to get a bunch more cards today, maybe. Maybe, like, I was just overly ambitious. But I thought that we were going to get a little bit more than the four cards. We were going to get some sapphires, some emeralds, maybe, but... Look, it is what it is. It is what it is. And with that, it's just going to be a sign that maybe Tuesdays aren't going to be the most hyped days, which is cool. Which is actually, actually cool. And yeah, like looking at these players, we've not got much like on a positive note. If you guys don't want to spend money, don't. If you guys have already bought yourself a uh, run our test. Like if you're gonna, if you've already bought yourself a Ron, there's no need to pay anything. There's no need to pay anything. So there are positives and there are negatives to like quote unquote bad batches of cards. And th the one good thing about the bad batch of cards is you don't have to, there's no FOMO. There's no FOMO on something like this. 
But I'm a little bit disappointed just that the budget cards are so bad. Because there's no reason for... Because 2K haven't started changing SIGs. That is the reason for it. Like, 2K haven't started changing SIGs. And because 2K haven't started changing SIGs, you're looking at a 6 foot 5 player with basic dribble style. Which is worthless. Like, it, it is. It's a worthless com It's a worthless combo. Like, a 6 5 player with basic dribble style is worthless. There's no way. No way around that. A 6 5 player who can't move is worthless. He's got a good jump shot and he's got good defense. Doesn't matter. This is a 6 7 center. Like, that can't shoot. I thought it was bad enough for Bill Russell. Like there has, there just has to be a way to make that these guys are gonna be free, right? There just has to be a way. I can't be like, there's no way that this is it, right? There's just no way. There is no way. Like Kemba is a trash can. I've used Kemba in like just messing around with him. They gave Kemba a not very good dribble style. He is a trash can. Kemba is genuinely a trash can this year. And Aldridge just fine, I guess. Aldridge is absolutely fine. But he's 84k. 84k, and you're, for a guy that is like so mid, so so mid, and yeah, it's a um, it's a very very disappointing set of cards, and easily the worst we've seen. Like I genuinely thought that some of these ones were. Like, when we're talking about, like, the Tuesday midweek drops, ooh, these were a different level. These were the best. These were absolutely the best right here. Good, like, a lot of good cards, some nice budget cards. To be fair, at this stage, budget cards weren't the greatest. And they were a little bit expensive, these rubies. But once rubies went down to four, like, summer standouts. Like, we got this was what Tuesday used to be. What a Tuesday drop. What a Tuesday drop here. And now, like, we've gotten ass-free cards, like, three days in a row. Like, Bill Russell's okay. I didn't realize how ass Mark Price was until I used him. Scalabrini's garbage. So I'm like, it's just bad cards, bad cards, bad cards. And now not even great budget cards. At least last Friday, we got a decent... We got Brandon Roy, I guess, and Badier. But yeah, this is... This is horrendous. This is absolutely horrendous. The only positive thing is I'm probably going to get it for 50k VC and Andre Guidala is pretty good, but that's really it. That is the only positive. Andre Guidala, can you put range on Andre? If you can put range on Andre Iguodala, give me him over Kobe. Can't put range on him. Still, though, you've just got Kobe light there in Andre Guidala. 